Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In today's video we will learn how to uh, perform jog operation in Mitsubishi robot. So today I will be using RT Toolbox 3 software and uh, I will just move it in a simulation mode. So this is the uh, RV-7 FRL series. This is 6 axis robot with a payload capacity of 7 kg so this is how it looks this is the front and this is the back of the robot so i'm using it like this here now in the jog operation there are several uh, methods you can say the moment uh, positions like joint xyz tool methods and 3x xyz cylindrical and work so in joint mode each joint axis like J1, J2, J3, J4, J5 and J6 move independently regardless of the other axis like I will just move the, this is the override here I have, at present this is at 100% means the maximum speed of robot in joint mode and uh, so I will just move here so this is the J1 axis it can move minus 239 and in this direction it can move to minus 121 I think oh sorry plus 239 okay so this is the J1 axis now the J2 and this is the J2 axis here at this part and the other is J3 so they are moving independently regardless of the other uh, axis movement now the this is the J5 axis and other is J, this is J6 axis now if we talk about the XYZ so if we talk about the front so like coming forward is the J1 axis and oh sorry uh, coming forward is X plus and moving back is X minus you can watch it from this angle moving forward is X plus this is X minus moving at that side is uh, plus y and this side is minus y z axis is moment of z axis here now the angle a b and c this is the a angle now another is this is the b angle this is the rotation of this point here so this is the tool point which is uh, showing the y plus and x plus and uh, z plus now talking about the other that is tool method so tool method we move according to the arrow direction described here this is the x plus moving forward is z plus and in the right direction is y plus you see this is x plus and minus this is y plus and minus and the other is z so it will move according to the tool which is mounted here so now if we talk about the uh, moment uh, if we uh, set the tool here let me select this this is tool so if you have tool data something like you have some clamper or anything offset from the point uh, z axis point of robot then you can use it like this suppose I'm just entering this random numbers and they are not calculated if I have placed some tool here so let me say, take the tool number one suppose this uh, something is mounted at this point and its center is here so it will just move to this position and you can see that all this movement will be according to this this point is now stand still but angle is moving see so the robot will move just to make sure that this is the you know, center point and it is not moving unless and until you move xyz uh, 
in the any any other direction like explosion as mentioned here like this so angle is this now if uh, we'll just revert it to number zero so there are other servers like three axes x y z the moment is like this x plus and x minus same as the x y z axis this is y this is z and these are angles okay now if we talk about the cylindrical so this is the x r r t and z this is 3 this is z moment up and down this is the a this is this is b moment and this one is c moment so this is again the joint moment is here so these are the moments uh, which you can use when using robot in manual operation or jog uh, moving the robot in jog to teach so this is all in this video if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you